All right. So <clears throat> I put some uh, prepared like clay here and add some water and clay here as well and other tools I like to use uh, for this specific uh, extruder. So I'm going to put it on the side. Uh, I like to use normal clay. So this is just you know typical clay, like normal clay. Uh, but this one is uh, uh, just mid-range porcelain clay around uh, cone six range. But you can use any clay, uh, but like use grogless clay. Uh, grog can, it helps, but like it can cause some issues with the nozzle. So uh, how I like to prep clay is just soak underwater like this and Later, I drain the water and then just wet it. Uh, sometimes if it's too wet, you can actually, uh, if you don't have a plaster or like any ceramics facility, what you can do is you can just uh, keep it in the container like overnight and then like wet it again. So make sure it's gonna be soft. So if I show you the clay here, it's not uh, super soft, but it's quite soft. It's almost like, like ice cream or some, but it's very soft, but it's not like sleep. It's somewhere between them. So like, for example, my agar extruder, you can handle more stiff clay because like air compressor is strong enough and it will handle that. Also it can take care of some, uh, available inside. But uh, with this one, it has a lot of you know, benefits, but also this one has uh, limited size and because of the <clears throat> stepper motor cannot handle uh, the much torque. So you should uh, play, start with some kind of soft clay. For this one, uh, I like to use just my spreader or butter knife and anything, but I like this one because it's good to handle. And also the size is pretty good for this uh, 60 cc syringe. So how I load clay is I have a soft clay and then take a little bit of clay like this. And if there are some elbow, it will, uh, you can break the elbow. Then if you have a nice chunk of clay and load it like this and continue like this and try not to put elbow in the clay. But some elbow will be fine. Make sure that's not gonna be too big or something like that. Uh, I have not had serious issue with uh, elbow, uh, but uh, definitely be careful with uh, elbow because it could impact on the uh, print quality. And also you do need some practice. So you, uh, in this case, yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good. I don't see uh, elbow balls here. Uh, keep loading clay. I think I need to do a couple more. So actually this one helps because for example, when you press it, it pops on the elbow bowls. So I think let me do a little more. Uh, later I'm gonna take a video of me prepping this clay. So it's almost full. And I'll put it on the side and I don't want it dry to dry too much. So I'm gonna put it also you will need a sponge. So I will 
clean it around it because I don't want any dried piece of clay get into the uh, wet clay. So that could cause some issues later. So syringe here. This one is already prepared. It. This is the piston and this is 3D printed part. Depends on the thread, the diameter of the threaded shaft, you need to use different things. And I will share uh, two different uh, types of uh, the piston shape here um, because I do have two different uh, through shaft motor. So with the clay like this, and um, if the clay is pretty stiff, you will have a hard time. So I'm not going to just use my thumb because sometimes it hurts your finger. So, and I'm going to just press it like this. You will see when it came through. Okay. Flush it some more. I don't see any air bubble. Also, it helps, it will kind of nicely compress the clay here. And I'm going to need a sponge to clean it. And wash the sponge and my hands as well because I'm working with the wet clay, but also I'm working with computer as well. So I don't want any dirt and clay will get to my computer. And also if you have, like, there is a computer actually this side, but if you're working with them all, like make sure you are like, your computer will be really uh, protected from any dirt, water and other things. So. Right. And ready. And bring the chair. And next step is uh, I'm using this uh, green uh, blue disc dispensing tip. Uh, this is wide enough, but actually, I want to like make it a little bit wider. So I have a knife. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cut it a little bit. Uh, not a lot, actually I'm cutting uh, three, four millimeter here. Uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, four millimeter here. You can cut it like this, but also you can put it on the table and then chop it too. Just I don't wanna uh, damage the the table. Oh, actually, I can do this and once you prepare the tip, if you don't lose it, you can actually use it for for a while. Uh, I think that might be good. Uh, I just later once you use all clay, uh, you need to take out the piston and everything up for that one uh, the large tongue or the twister can help and also uh, this is a thin steel load so later you can, I can put it this way and then I can also push it out as well uh, I'll show you later so the clay is here and uh, when you use the, the tip make sure there is no any wet clay or any like chunk of something got inside then here and also this one should go away then this loaded clay and the syringe um, i'm using the scraper just in case when i need to do something with uh, Usually, yeah, when something goes bad, I'm going to just scrape it. Then extruder. I'm going to start with this one. Oh, 
So there is only two here. So put it like this way. Uh, actually, I also have another video I shared years ago, uh, me going through all the steps too. Maybe I'm gonna share that video as well. So two, it's locked like this. And tighten it. This one ready, and I'm gonna just turn it. Then I feel a little resistant, which means the, the end of thread is kind of get in the middle of this uh, piston. Good. The next. Uh, here's the printer. And this is the, uh, can be, it will be connected to the platform and then you can put the syringe like this and also you can put it you can adjust the height because well, as you can see because of the design it just give a little bit of you know uh, it's a little it has a little bit of friction so actually if you move it up and down a little bit it, it can accommodate so you can actually adjust the height a little bit better uh, before we do that actually we need the let me adjust the panel Put it aside like this. Here and I have this one. Uh, everything will need uh, twenty millimeter bolt and nut. So you just need a uh, couple of um, set of them, and then all the file I'm sharing will use exactly the same uh, size. So you can just mount it to this platform. Okay. Next. And the extruder ready. Put it like this. That's good to go. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the camera angle and connect the printer to the computer, and I'm gonna start this and go uh, test print.